Good morning, ma'am and classmate. So, our topic for today is all about clavicle fractures. But before we start, hello everyone, my name is Riti Vicola Jr. Together with my group member, Maria Ricobano, Rochelle De Viralde, Giselle Maria, and Lito Patation for shoulder and acute injury. Let's have understand while learning the clavicle fractures. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Thank you. So, learning objective. At the end of the lessons, the student will be able to first define and understand the clavicle fractures, second, know the symptoms or sign symptoms and prevention, and last, management and treatment. Introduction These are the most common results of the sum sport related to the injury, fracture, occur, happen, commonly. For the athlete with those particular results of indirect or direct trauma to the shoulder region, clinicians working in emergency department and has been general clinics to assist immediately should be familiar with the common presentation and complication of that particular with that person suffered to this injury as well need basic management symptoms of clavicle fracture or collarbone first pain increase with the shoulder movement or swelling brushing the bulks or near your shoulder the grinding or cracking sound when you try to move your shoulder and last stiffness and inability to move your shoulder so this is the most commonly or symptoms of clavicle fracture when we encounter this accident good morning ma'am good morning classmate i am Rochelle lady bralde we can thank you supporting about clavicle fractures okay first is what is clavicle fractures the clavicle or collarbone is one of the most fracture of the body broken collarbone is a bone fracture of the clavicle symptoms typically include pain at the side of the break and decreased ability to move affected arm so ang clavicle po pwede din po siyang tawagin collarbone isya sa mga most fracture ng ating katawan or yung nabobroken or nababali yung ating collar bone and yung bone na yun ayun na yung, yung bone na nabali yun yung tiyatawag natin clavicle fracture and ang symptoms niya ay yung pananakit sa side dun sa na, nabali and pwedeng yung pain na yun ay gumalaw pababa. So, pwedeng ma-affected yung ating arm. And clavicle is unshaped long curved tubular bone lies horizontally across the root of the rock of neck. The articulate with the sternum medially to form sternoclavicular or a chromion process with scapula at a clavicular joint ligament so today I'm going to talk about the signs and symptoms of clavicle fracture first is pain over color bone or yung pagsakit sa ibabaw ng ating collarbone. Second is trouble moving the arm or shoulder on the side. Dito naman is yung, yung problema sa paggalaw ng ating braso or pa, biglang pagsakit. Next is swelling ten tenderness and bruising along the collarbone. Swelling, it means is yung pamamaga or paglambot at pagkakaroon ng pasa sa bahagi ng ating collarbone. Next is a bulge and tenting the skin above the break. 
yung isang umbok o yung pagbukol sa itaas ng ating balat kung saan nagkaroon ng break or fracture. Next is the diagnosis collarbone fractures. First, ask about the injury. So, kapag sa diagnosis, kailangan um, itunong muna natin yung tungkol sa injury kung ano yung nangyari. And then after, do physical exam. Para malaman natin kung ano yung lagay or gaano kalala yung kanyang injury. And order for x-ray for sure na malaman kung saan parte ng or bahagi yung yung nagkaroon ng fracture at kung gaano ito kalala. Next is the causes. Common causes of a broken collarbone include falls such as falling onto your shoulder or onto your outstretch. Ito naman sa common causes is is yung pagkatumba or pagkaipit ng yung braso nagkakaroon tayo ng collarbone fracture or sa maling movements. Next is sports injuries such as a direct blow to your shoulder on the field, ring or court. Nagkakaroon din tayo ng mga um, fractures sa sports. Posibleng habang naglalaro tayo or accident, yung mga aksidenteng nangyayari sa um, during during the game. Next is vehicle trauma from a car, motorcycle, or bike accident. Birth injury from passing thought the birth canal. So next naman is yung mga trauma sa mga sasakyan, yung mga accident, car accident, motorcycle accident, or bike. Nagkakaroon din tayo dyan ng mga collarbone fractures, lalo na kapag nas kapag nasobrahan yung pagka-aksidente. Complication. Nerve or blood vessels are injured. The jack and the broken or collarbone may injure nerve linear and the blood vessel. Six immediate or medical attention. Next, pure or delay healing. A several broken or collarbone might be healed or smoothly completely. Next, a lump or Dump in the bone. A part of the healing process, place where the bone knight together form in a bony lump. Last, osteoarthritis. A fracture that involves the joint that connects your collarbone to your shoulder blade, breastbone, might be increased or sick, eventually develop your arthritis. Management and treatment. Use ice for pain or swelling ill pack. Use sling shoulder immobilized directed to the healthcare provided. Follow your health can pre provide the structure use medical pain. About for six weeks. This is the need. Avoid raising your arms above the shoulder level. Avoid lifting your anything that you might weigh more than five pounds. Stay out sports physical education. Do all exercise to prevent elbow, shoulder, stiffness, and help your muscle strength. Prevention from cervical fracture. First, when playing contact sport, this is the common need. Para know your do when you sport. Next, keep your bones strong, eating well balanced. Diet. Do strength training or stretching or build strong, flexible your muscles. Last, wear your lift fitting supportive footwear. These are the four example of clavicle fracture and sports related. Um, these four are the following: football, wrestling, soccer, bike. Itong mga sports na to ay prone talaga sa clavicle fracture. Bak kasi uh, kagaya na lang nitong ano, wrestling. Uh, di ba ano yan? Uh, 
binubuhat yun tapos itinatapon kadalasan talaga dyan nababalian kagaya na lang ng football kapag nag kapag sumipa ka tapos hindi mo tinamaan yung bola tinamaan mo yung paan ng kalaban mo posibleng mag tumbling tumbling yon tapos ma injured also, also dito sa ano sa football kasi talaga itong football eh nagbabanggaan ang mga katawan na ito mas lalong lalo na po dito sa sa bike o bebesikleta kasi posibleng yung ginamit mong bisikleta ay eh, ano posibleng mawala ng preno yon tapos dire-diretso ka hindi mo na alam ang gagawin mo thank you